You never get a second chance to make a first impression. What a quote and how it applies to our lives. So whether it's a person going on a job interview and is so careful about how they even walk, their posture and the words that come out of their mouth during the interview, even at the first moment, or it's someone who's going on a date or meeting someone who's a, possibly a potential friend for the very first time, or it's a teacher or a professor coming into a classroom and setting the tone for how a semester will be, our first impressions are very powerful as to the impact it has on those who are getting acquainted with us. In our parsha, Moshe Rabbeinu says to the Meraglim, you are going to have a first impression of the land of Israel. And when you go, when you have that impression, think to yourself, Hatovahi Imra'a, is the land good or is it bad? So was Moshe simply asking them, see if it's good or it's bad? Chidush Harim, Zechetzak Levracha, explains no, there was something deeper. Moshe was begging them and says, listen, human nature is that as soon as we see something, we make a judgment, and that's it. It's very hard to pull us away from that judgment. He says, when you're going to see Eretz Yisrael, when you're going to see the land of Israel, be careful. Don't let that first impression taint you in a way that you won't be able to be honest about what you're really seeing before your eyes. And so Moshe Rabbeinu begs them, Hatovahi imra'a, identify, make sure that even if your first impression may not be so perfect, don't give up on the rest of the time that you spend there. Don't allow that first impression to taint the entire picture of what it is you see, because if you do so, you'll be making a tragic error. And ultimately, the spies failed. They didn't heed the advice of Moshe Rabbeinu. They took that first impression, they applied it, and didn't see the bigger picture. Just as an example, Rashi tells us that there were so many funerals that took place when they were there, when the spies were seeing the land. And the spies themselves, they came back and they said, listen, you want to know about the land of Israel? It's an Eretz Ocheles Yosheveh, the people who are there, they die, the land devours the people. And Rashi explains, ugh, oh, the Miraglim didn't realize Hashem made it that so many people died then in the land so that the people of the land would be busy with funerals and they would have their minds elsewhere that they wouldn't realize that there were spies spying out the land. But because they went on their first impression, they couldn't think deeper. They were so tainted by what they originally saw. They didn't allow themselves to expand their horizon and different possibilities. And so the lesson for us in life is that even if our first impression may not be exactly what we expected or what we wanted it to be, just hold out, just wait, and don't allow our first impressions of certain scenarios or situations to taint us from being able to see opportunity and success in front of us when we might not necessarily expect it at first. Thank you for listening, and have a good Shabbos.